This series of videos will take a look at a recognized decision-making model, Boyd's OODA loop, and apply it to soccer. It's already being used in rugby union. We'll start with a brief biography of John Boyd. Boyd was a colonel in the United States Air Force. He was a military theorist, arguably as influential as Clausewitz or Sun Tzu. He was a veteran of both the Korean and Vietnam Wars. This experience brought a practical focus to his thinking. Boyd was the top combat flight instructor for the Air Force. At Nellis Air Force Base, he learned how people react under extreme competitive pressure. As a captain, he wrote what would become the book on air-to-air -air combat. He developed the energy maneuverability theory which revolutionized modern aircraft design. He was one of the leaders of the military reform movement and an advocate of maneuver as opposed to attrition warfare. He has been credited with making significant contributions to the strategic planning of Operation Desert Storm. These reasons alone would justify the number of books, articles, and studies that exist about Boyd. But it's his OODA loop theory that really drives the interest in his work. It has become a universally recognized decision-making, learning, and leadership model. The United States Marine Corps uses it as the, quote, point of departure, unquote, in their tactical and command and control doctrines. On the surface, the OODA loop appears to be a single feed-forward loop. Individuals observe their environment. They orient themselves to a task. They reach a decision and then act on that decision. This cycle will then repeat itself. Here's an example of an OODA loop in action. Of course, you picked up that wasn't a single OODA loop. That was two OODA loops working together. Mother and daughter were able to observe, orient, reach a decision, and act in order to achieve their common task. It's a simple example of teamwork. But if the OODA loop only represented cooperative interactions, it wouldn't have received the interest it has. This is its power. The OODA loop model also explains competitive situations. For Boyd, opponents come with the territory. Now, an example that includes competition along with cooperation. The Observe, Orient, Decide, Act loop is time competitive. If you can transition between these activities faster than your opponent, you'll gain a split-second advantage. You effectively create a smaller loop. Continue that and transition between loops faster than them and you'll have a decided time advantage. The opponent will have to chase you. We're at the final two points of this video. First, most experienced coaches and players intuitively know all of this but getting them to explain it, however, could be difficult. In that sense, it provides a structure. Second, while the OODA loop is simple in application, it's complex in detail. Boyd turned the full weight of his thinking onto this idea. He saw it from a variety of viewpoints and disciplines. It was never a case of just an analysis of a question. It had to incorporate a synthesis for an answer. The depth and degree Boyd went to in formulating the OODA loop theory rivals even what he did with the aerial attack study and the EM theory. That detail will be the focus of the following videos. <laughs>